and as well Olosho Lang. Welcome back uh, <laughs> to our segment where we review songs, traditional songs. So today we are reviewing a Kalenjin song by uh, it's Anin Tumdo Kaila uh, Cultural Dancers. So yeah, and I'm Nasha. I'm Austin. I'm Ryan. Maybe we sanitize first before we go ahead. Well, let's see how we go about this. But before we continue, let's take a short break. Have a word from our sponsors. Experience the best of baking with Nasha Cakes. Nasha Cakes is located 200 meters from Total Petrol Station Kitengela. Give your new day a lift. Great taste, quality service. For all your cake needs, call 0712-578-578. Nasha Cakes. Cakes with heart, made with care. Welcome back. So uh, today, as I've said, we're going to do a song, Anyin Tumdo by Kaila Cultural Dancers. Oh, I just, I'm not a boy, 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 I'm not a
mundo. Well, that's the song. Uh, <laughs> it's Anin Tumdo by Kaila Cultural Dancers. So maybe we hear from Austin what you think about the song. Okay, um, basically from my point of view, this song is Kosawa. And uh, your beat, because kuna niko una skia do do do. Ye ina ina ingia tu ina kupea yo motisha ku dance. Unaza di pato mes mama tu na your dancing peke ya kubi la ta kumbi o muke. And um, vile the video ina nesha wedding. Na vile the people are dancing na joy ina nesha. The song is meant for celebrations. Na any other. Um, happy functions alafu cuz kwa hiyo functions tuna na brides na watu wakiruka waki dance waki smile waki those things alafu pia vile some people wako kwa videos wanashika the spear na wako na hiyo coffee tradition maybe na to bring back to wakati au ria za kalenjin walikuwa na wanafanya kitambo they had the spears na even walikuwa na van and then uh, the leather outfits from the ladies in a tupeleka also back to the traditional way of life ya the kalenjins yeah and uh, my rating hapo nitapea an 8.6 kwa sababu editing kuna vile ilifanywe ikakuwa above ilikuwa haikuwa clear sana like i took a bit of expect it yeah Ryan uh I mean Tundo uh, I love the song uh, I also love the video uh, the song is uh, vibrant makes you feel like uh, you wanna dance yeah I also love the beats I love how they they dance. I love everything about it. I also love the the fact that they uh, include various ages from the young to the old in the dance moves. And uh, yeah, I give it an um, eight. Yeah. Well, Anin Tundo. Um, first, I would want to know the meaning because it was repeated again, like again and again in the song. Um, the beat is awesome. There is a lot of accompaniment. There is the you can hear the there is a do do do, and then there is the movement ya shaker. They used to be called shakers. Shaker the the knees for for the legs. You can bottle tops, and then they you know there is that movement, and you can tell like that's where he's moving the leg. It's okay. there. Yeah. So there is that um, there is that beat, and then uh, the dance. You can tell it is not a planned dance because she's showcasing kwa barabara. You're seeing people, everyone has their own dancing style a bit and then they have the round circle and someone is in between there showing them what to do next. So there's that aspect of she did not try much. Whoever did the song did not try much. So there's that, it, it's beautiful. Then um, we can tell it's a wedding or celebration song because there's a lot of happiness in it, in the beat. Then there is the aspect of the dressing, where the mamas have uh, done the, the skin yeah. thing. Uh, it's beautiful. I, I, I'm not sure this is how it used to be worn, but now it makes me curious to find out how Kalenjis used to dress then. Because uh, of okay. what I'm seeing. The shells. Yeah, the, yeah, the quarry shells as well. You can see them. I love that, by the way. Any Kalenjin who can do that for me, hit me uh, down there. And then the green. The green was okay, but there are some bits where it was too too exaggerated. So, but still, I can tell you, know, the green is beautiful. And then again, the age. It is a song that anyone can dance to. Where the beat goes a bit fast, you sing the young ones, and then even the same same beat. There are some old guys that were standing somewhere, and the movement it just goes very well with whatever age. And also because the pers the person, the lead singer here. You can tell she's not young, but she's just doing it as the rest. So the beat is really uh, friendly for all ages. Then there is the uniformity where they are donned in the same. You see, like there's a place where they blue t-shirts. 
Mm -hmm. And then there's a place there in a certain other color like that. There's orange mm -hmm. people. Yeah, it it is good because when you're taking a shoot, in a fanya unona kila toko level moja. It's beautiful, and I love what they have done. They are they are black skirt. There's something they want black. Down there they have a green, red, and something some thread they've done somewhere there. Then there is the color wash. How she's done the color wash on her neck. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen how she's done a she's hanging color. Yeah, yeah, that is very creative. I think it's because she couldn't hold it. So how she's put it there? Yeah? Mm, it's <laughs> attached to the, the, the skin. Ah. So it hurts. It is beautiful. I love that by the way because I know Kalen jeans have the calabash somewhere mm -hmm. in their culture. So personally, I read the song at uh, 9 because I feel like it is a song I can sing anytime. The other thing is how it ends. That's why I'm giving it an eye. It has, it just ended and I'm like, uh, that's it. So basically I read it at nine. It's a beautiful song and, and the dancers have done justice to the song. So it was amazing writing this particular song. I still want to know who the original artist is. So Kalen Jeans, please help me out there in the comment section. Otherwise, um, Kaila dancers, this was beautiful. This is Gaulele. Till next time, see you soon.